Available now. Link below. America, we are at a crossroads. As the Biden border crisis rages on, a Texas judge has just handed down a ruling that could change everything. In a stunning rebuke of the Biden administration's lawless policies, the court has ordered that construction of Trump's border wall must continue. That's right, the very wall that Biden halted on day one in violation of Congress's explicit allocation of funds. Yes, the legal victory for national security and the rule of law comes as a beacon of hope amidst the chaos engulfing our southern border. But it also raises urgent questions about the future of our nation, with the migrant crisis spiraling out of control. And the Biden administration openly defying the law. Is it time for a dramatic change in leadership? Well, stick with me through this special report because you don't want to miss my final thought on why Trump 2024 may be America's last chance to turn the tide. Now, folks, as we delve deeper into the crisis, let's talk about another looming threat, skyrocketing heating bills. Just like how Biden's border policies have left our border exposed, greedy utility companies are exploiting hardworking Americans. But you can fight back with this amazing portable mini heater. This powerful device can quickly warm up any room, helping you slash those outrageous heating costs. So think about it. The savings in just one month could pay for the unit itself. So don't let yourself freeze this winter while the utility giants line their pockets. Get warm now with a whopping 55% off and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Take a stand against the cold and the greed. Head to GetWarmNow.com before this incredible offer ends. Now, in a stunning reversal of the Biden administration's open border agenda, a federal judge in Texas has struck a blow for national security and the rule of law. Judge Drew Tipton issued a preliminary injunction ordering the White House to halt its diversion of funds explicitly allocated by Congress for the construction of the border wall. This ruling marks a significant victory for those who have long advocated for stronger border security measures and a return to the America First principles of the Trump era. Now, the lawsuit brought forth by the states of Texas and Missouri challenges the Biden administration's blatant disregard for the will of Congress and the safety of the American people. By refusing to spend the billions of dollars approved for border wall construction in 2019, President Biden has not only violated the law, but also exacerbated the ongoing crisis at our southern border. As this video you're about to see clearly illustrates the Biden administration's attempt to redirect funds away from wall construction towards projects more aligned with their open border ideology has been met with fierce resistance. Watch. Folks, President Joe Biden tried diverting funds that were meant for the border wall but a federal judge blocked him from trying to move that money. Now, under the ruling, it was determined that funds that were already, already allocated to the wall uh, cannot be taken away and then used for other programs, even if they're related to the border. The ruling is now being used as one of the many examples that the migrant crisis is being run by design. Now, let me show you, this is just to the news. It says a federal judge ruled on Friday against the Biden administration's plans to redirect money from border wall construction to other projects more to its liking, such as environmental remediation. It says Judge Drew B. Tipton of the Southern District of Texas said that it is up to Congress how that money is going to be spent because Congress, of course, does the spending bills and it notes Congress allocated nearly $1.4 billion for wall building for fiscal years 2020 and 2021, according to the Washington Times. But the Biden administration argued that the remediation projects they wanted to spend that money on were ancillary to the wall and that it should be allowed. In other words, rather than build the wall, they want to do other things around it that actually don't seem to well be, inter be interested in securing the border. Now, Judge Tipton's ruling confirms that it is the sole prerogative of Congress to determine how these funds are spent, and the executive branch must adhere to those decisions. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson hailed the court's decision as a triumph for border security, stating that, quote, Biden acted completely improperly by refusing to spend the money that Congress appropriated for border wall construction and even attempting to redirect those funds. His actions demonstrate his desperation for open borders at any cost, but Texas has prevailed. Now, the implications of the ruling extend far beyond the immediate issue of border wall funding. It serves as a stark reminder that the Biden administration's approach to border security is not only misguided, but also unlawful. By prioritizing the interests of illegal immigrants over the safety and well-being of American citizens, President Biden has created a crisis of unprecedented proportions along our southern border. And the numbers speak for themselves. Since taking office, the Biden administration has presided over a staggering surge in illegal border crossings with hundreds of thousands of migrants flooding into the country each month. 
Many of these individuals have not been properly vetted, posing a significant risk to public safety and national security. Meanwhile, the flow of deadly drugs like fentanyl across the border has reached epidemic levels, claiming countless American lives. Despite these alarming trends, President Biden and his allies in Congress have shown little interest in addressing the root cause of the crisis. Instead, they focused their efforts on dismantling the successful border security policies implemented under the Trump administration, including the construction of the border wall. This short-sighted approach has not only undermined our nation's sovereignty, but also perpetuated human suffering on both sides of the border. By encouraging illegal immigration through tax uh, lax enforcement, excuse me, and promises of amnesty, the Biden administration has created a humanitarian disaster that enriches criminal cartels and puts countless lives at risk. As this next video shows, President Biden's cavalier attitude towards the border crisis is deeply concerning. Watch. President, what is an border executive action coming? An executive action on the border. Counting on the border action happened by itself. The passing it. But Congress can't come to an agreement. Well, they haven't How yet. Help they haven't yet. I'm, I'm helping them. Now catch Representative August Pfluger's sharp reaction to President Biden's approach to the border crisis, emphasizing the urgent need for leadership against the backdrop of 9 million illegal immigrants and security risks. Watch. Um, you, th this again falls in the category of you can't make this up. Uh, here's our chief executive, the commander in chief, with a nonsensical reply. Uh, come on, Mr. President, we need your help, your leadership. Every community is suffering. It's not going to solve itself. We need you to say that you are going to take immediate action. But unfortunately, for three years running, you have created a situation where we have nine million illegal immigrants, hundreds of people matching the terror watch list. We in Congress have passed the strongest legislation, which was H.R. 2, and you've taken zero action on that. It is time to step up because it's hurting every community. Well, I want to... Now, by Joe Biden suggesting that the situation will somehow resolve itself without decisive action, he has abdicated his responsibility as commander-in-chief to protect the American people. It is time for a drastic change in course. The ruling by Judge Timpton serves as a wake-up call for the Biden administration and a rallying cry for those who believe in the rule of law and the importance of national sovereignty. We must demand that our leaders prioritize the safety and security of American citizens above all else, and that starts with securing our borders. And the stakes couldn't be higher. As the 2024 presidential election looms on the horizon, the American people will have a clear choice between the failed policies of the Biden administration and the return to the America First agenda championed by President Trump. If we hope to restore order and sanity to our immigration system, we must elect leaders who are willing to put the interests of the American people first and who understand the vital importance of border security. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. The Texas judge's order to continue building the border wall is a resounding victory for national security and the rule of law. It exposes the Biden administration's utter disregard for the safety and sovereignty of our nation. As the crisis at our southern border spirals out of control, it is clear that we need a dramatic change in leadership. We need a return to the America First policies that put the interests of our citizens above all else. The 2024 election looms large, and the choice could not be clearer. Will we continue down the path of open borders, lawlessness, and chaos, or will we restore order, sanity, and security and prosperity to our great nation? The future of America hangs in the balance and it is up to us to make our voices heard. It's time to put America first again. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.